Okay, so I'm gonna do a sound check and I'll just have you give your name and what your position is. Ken Kelch, Mayor. Perfect. Wait for the phone. And you're gonna take out all my uhs. You can close the door if you want. Oh, genius idea. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll edit it. Good. <laughs> so basically, uh, what do you want the community to know about the vying or, or the annexing of the four tracks into the city and borough? Well, in the 1990s, uh, the local boundary commission went to several of the communities and uh, ended up drawing mo model boundaries. Those model Boundaries were predicated on the history of who was in those areas, the um, accessibility by road, the uh, general population of those areas. Uh, we thought that we were going down as far south as Hobart Bay, and uh, we have just we had a um, local boundary commission that went ahead and went through the whole process for a year in 2005, 2006, and decided not to go any further at that time. When Petersburg decided to become a borough and annexed part of uh, what was in a, a, a local Juno model boundary, it was time then to re-examine where we're going to be going. From that time, and it's been about almost two years, the assembly uh, in either one of its committees or in discussions as a whole has in some ways talked about annexation where we wanted to go. So we decided to uh, go through the process internally, decided on what areas you know could fill in our boundaries, and uh, had a committee of the whole meeting and uh, went through all the pros and the cons, and we ended up going with those four areas that we'd like to submit to the Local Boundary Commission. If there is uh, areas of dispute with our neighbors, we would like that was settled in that Local Boundary Commission. Again, the model boundaries were pushed out to areas that uh, were thought to be in the Juno uh, area of influence, and that's where we're going with it. Good answer. Well, I don't know if it's a good answer, but it's, <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, explain, you explained it well. Let me put it that way. So, um, <coughs> what's an update on the $250,000 to support cruise ship industry's legal expenses concerning litigation? Well, the very first thing when I became mayor, a week after I became mayor, I was sued by the cruise line, uh, I guess, industry. And uh, since then, it's just gone to the CBJ, thankfully, not personally. But uh, our update on that one is we are using uh, sales tax revenue to defend Juno's position uh, and how it spends the money collected from the passenger fees. Uh, and uh, we are going through several processes with the court. It has been a slow, it has been methodical, and I don't know where it will end up, but we need to defend our ability to collect those revenues. Uh, our tourism industry is growing. We are excited about that. We're excited to be a host to the communities. Uh, as a community to the people that come in here, and, and I hope that we can continue to do that. I hope that we can continue to be able to accommodate those services that are put on the community. Right, okay, so um, what about public safety funding? It's been a top priority in the state legislature. How do you feel about public safety funding? Uh, as a former law enforcement officer for Customs and Border Protection. I feel very strongly about public safety. Our statistics are over the roof as far as I'm concerned with growth and burglaries, with crime. 
Uh, if there's anything that we need to do is uh, make a person feel safe in their home. That has changed since the time I have been in Juneau. There was a time in this town where we never locked our houses, where we did not lock our cars, where we felt safe letting the kids play outside, and that has been taken away, and we are not going to accept that as the new norm. Uh, I don't care what it takes for public safety. We need to let people feel safe in their houses, and we need to make this a safe community, and that has to be a... If it's not a number one priority, I don't know why it shouldn't be. It should be. Awesome. Good answer. Because yeah. we lived in Sitka 37 years. We moved hmm. over here four years ago, and the difference in crime is there's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for our um, public safety uh, subcommittee to report back, and then we'll decide where to go from there. But there will be a very positive response on this. Awesome. Okay, so what's your message that you would like to stay, say to the viewers, both statewide and in Juneau? Any message? That, that Juneau is a, a fantastic place to come and play and to see. And if you're outside um, and you're up north, come and see us. You will be surprised by the amenities that Juneau offers and the hospitality that uh, we would like you to experience. Awesome. Is there anything else you think? No, at this stage, we get, there's a ton of things, and so I, sure. I hope you come back. Yeah, I think we are. I think that's Maria's plan. <laughs>